Hi right, guys, my name's Lee. Uh, welcome to another uh, Deutsch Tech video. Today we've got a CLA 45 in. We're gonna lower it and some high back springs, EBC brakes all around, new braided lines, um, get the geometry straight and off we go. Here we have it, a lovely new Ibex spring and an OEM original spring. So this will give it a bit more stability on the road, make it a little bit lower as well, a little bit of stance. Let's do it. Slot it over there, locate it, just like that. Yeah, we're just taking the drop link off. Ah! We'll put this nut on here because don't want to lose our nuts too. Okay, so we'll leave that there. Just a bit of Muay Thai here. Oh. Zip, zip, zip. Where's that little ting 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 ting? One, two. I've just fitted the passenger side spring. So now we're just gonna reassemble it and jump straight onto the back. Back up. Show to you that I'm more good than I am bad. I work it out, I work it out. And I'll be somewhere that you need me. And now we are going to change the front pads and the front discs. Part of the wear sensor. This is the wear sensor from the pad. This is the loom that it goes into. Plug it. A little bit. Yeah, the wear yeah they, they do a good job to be honest. They save you from um, destroying your your discs when the pads get too low. Some people tend to ignore it and then they come in and say. Why do I need discs? Sorry, sir. You're not listening to your car.
putting the pins in the holes. The mini persuader. The mini persuader, a little tap here and there. Just to get them to locate, there we go. It's like Christmas. Every day at Deutsche Tech. You do have to bed them in for a few hundred miles before you start giving it some heavy braking, just to bed them in to make sure they're nice and square. And then off you go, flat out. You do sometimes to preserve the discs while they're on the shelf, they come with like um, sort of a grease on them, um, just to, to preserve the, the metal. But with these, they have a coating on them. So this like silver, I'd say paint, um, helps preserve the disc. So now we've fitted the front pads and discs. We're gonna change the brake lines. The customer's gone for some EBC braided brake lines. So they'll actually help when he's um, going around the nerve ring and stuff like that to stop the swelling in the brake lines. So with that, we're gonna do the brake food as well. We're gonna put some black like, race brake food in it and bleed the whole system just to make sure he doesn't get no unnecessary fade. So this bad boy here, this is the original brake line. This is the new braided one by EBC. Looks a lot thinner. Yeah, they are quite a lot thinner. This is sort of an outer casing, like a protective casing. So the actual bit inside is probably no um, bigger than the one inside here. But these tend to swell when they get a bit hot and you don't really feel uh, the, the actual brakes, brake effort through the pedal. So using braided ones, they don't swell. You can feel a lot more through the brake pedal. So now we're onto the, the rear brakes. What we need to do is we need to set the rear calipers to the open position because it's an electronic handbrake. So we press a few buttons on here. Beep, beep, beep. Pistons go back, we change the brake pads and then set the pistons to closed. And off we go. So here we have it guys, that's the CLA all done, lowered, brakes all around, new brake lines, brake fluid change, and then we've just done the geometry on the vehicle to make sure it drives true. See you next time. Don't forget, our videos are coming out on YouTube every Wednesday, so go check us out on YouTube.